<laughs> hey guys and welcome to Dark Circle 22 plays another one of those RPG player kind of games and RPG um, maker I mean called Doki Doki Literature Club. Now I've heard some like stuff that this is not really a kids game or it's not essentially a hentai game or anything like that it's more like a sort of like horror or gothic or some shit I don't know but whatever dude let's go ahead and jump in and play it then. Please enter my name. Hmm. Will this work, dude? Oh, it's too big. I'll just go by my nickname then. I can't do periods. Whatever. JR, dude. Oh. Hey. I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor, and good friend since we were children. You know the kind of friend you never see yourself making today? But it just kind of works out because you're just, you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would overslept more and more frequently, and I'd get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase me out like this, uh, I almost feel better off running away. Oh well, ah, however, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Oh, look at her! She's a real red ribbon, ah. Look at her, her dorkiness, ah. I overslept again. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I caught you this time. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop to wait for you. Eh? Look at that, eh? Got a dorkiness. <laughs> her little boy. Moe status. See that you're like, you're thinking about ignoring me. That's mean. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think that we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. What if I was a girl? <laughs> but you did wait for me after all. Guess you don't have to. Oh. <laughs> I guess you could be a couple if you're a girl anyway, huh? I guess you don't have. It. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean to me, even if you don't want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become <laughs> increasingly speckled with other students, making our daily commute. Oh, by the way, have you decided to... Oh, what, I'm gonna join the anime club, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna join the anime club, dude. I'm gonna join ROTC, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna join Jama Club. <laughs> yeah, right. I told you already. I'm not really interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Yeah, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. No, did I? I'm sure, it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Sorry, likes to worry a little too much about me. When I'm perfectly content on getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Uh oh. I was talking about how worried that. <laughs> wait. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize. You're having that. Oh wow, that's totally me, dude. I hate socializing with people. <laughs> well, this is like close, close, close friends. But whatever. Your happiness is really important to me, you know? I know you're happy now, but I'll die at the thought of you becoming a neat if you I am I am a neat dude. I am a neat dude. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright. I'll look for a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises though. Will you at least promise me to try a little? Yeah. I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Man, how does this turn into a fucking terrible... How does this shit turn into, like, a not-suitable-for-children <laughs> um, game? The heck? Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself rel relent to her. Guess seeing her worry so much makes me want to go and ease on her mind a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. Wow, look at this kind of school, dude. The school days as ordinary as ever. It's 
it's over before I know it. I pack my things and I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sorry, wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the an- Oh, no duh. I was actually in the anime club in high school. Hello. Sorry. He's like, yo ho! Like, yeah, is that what you- <laughs> So you must have come to see me in the classroom when I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom. But I saw you just sitting here. Spacing out. So I came in. We're not even in the same class? Honestly. You're even worse than me sometimes, I'm impressed. Where's her, like, backpack? <clears throat> you don't need to wake up for me. Oh, you don't need to wait up for me. That's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know. You know what? Well, that you could come to my club. Sayori. Yeah? There's no way I'm going to your club. Eh, Mimi. Sorry, he's vice president of the lit club, dude. Oh, hell no. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure the only who did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed to the club, she inherited the title of vice president. That much, my interest in the literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday that I'd bring a new member. And that Tsuna made cupcakes and everything. Oh, I got to go now, dude. Don't make promises you can't keep, dude. Halo, dude. No, no. <laughs> I just played that, too. <laughs> I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead. Or if she's so cunning as to have planned this all out. I let, it, I let out a long sigh. Fine. I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yay, let's go. Yeah, I'm about to meet these bitches, dude. I'm gonna have to fake pretend my way through literature, dude. <laughs> and thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I dejectedly lo uh, follow Sayori. Ah, Sayori, yeah. So I hurry across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Sorry, full of energy. Something's opened the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here. I told you. No, I told you, don't call me a new member. Eh? I glance around the room. Oh, girl number one, dude. Popping out of her chest, dude. <laughs> Welcome to the lit club. Well, literature, dude. It's a pleasure to meet you. So always acting so, so always saying so nice things about you. Uh oh. Uh oh. Seriously, you brought a boy. Oh, so I am a boy. Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, Jr. What a nice surprise. Welcome to the literature club. Oh, <laughs> all words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. What are you looking at? Oh, she's the sin that I one, dude. She heard the sin that I one, dude. If you want to say something, say it. Sorry. Natsuki? Huh. The girl with the soul attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think. Oh, she's a lolly, too, dude. She's probably first here. <clears throat> There's no identifiers, dude. She's also the one who made the cupcakes, according to Sayori. Wait, which one's Sayori? Okay, this is Sayori, my friend. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. <laughs> Sayori says quietly into my ear and turns back toward the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Don't, don't say things like, oh, she's the, she's the shy girl, dude. Yuri appears to be um, nah, comparably more mature and timid. Seems to have a hard time in keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Ah, well, it's nice to meet the both of you. What about number three, dude? What about the long-haired girl? Oh, I know Monica, dude? Sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. It's good to see you again, Jar. Monica smiles sweetly and with a little bow pose, dude. <laughs> we know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. 
Monica was probably the most popular girl in class, smart, beautiful, and athletic. Basically, completely out of my league, dude. So, having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... You too, Monica. Come sit down, Jer. We made room for you at the table. So you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I get a little too excited. And how about we make tea as well, dude? The girls have a few desks arranged for form a table. That's pretty cool, man. As Suri mentioned, as we wind in, uh, it's been uh, widened so that there's more space to one side next to Monica. Okay. Monica or Sayori, dude. That's <laughs> Natsuki and Yuri walk over the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray of and Yuri opens the closet. Oh, this over here? Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsumi proudly uh, marches back to the table, tray in hand. Oh, look at her dude with her little fang. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Ooh, everyone's like... Lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated and look like little little knuckles, dude. <laughs> oh, I could save the game like this. The whiskers are drawn with icing. A little piece of chocolate were used to make the ears. So cute. I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> he seems the type like that. <laughs> Just hurry and take one. So he grabs the first one, then Monica and I follow. Delicious. Sorry, talks with her mouth full and already managed to get icing on her face. Yeah, right, dude. This shit doesn't happen like this, dude. <laughs> I turn the cupcake around with my fingers, looking at the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. Oh, she says no. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Uh oh, blushes, dude. Are you thanking me? It's not like I, I haven't heard this conference. Have I heard this? I uh, uh, haven't made them for you or anything. Uh oh. Eh? I thought you were technically did since Sayori said. Well, maybe, but not for you. You know. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Look at this little anime I'm watching, dude. <laughs> I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. You returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places the teacup in front of us, each of us, and setting down a teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep the whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. Damn, a little lit club, dude. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Ah, I guess. <laughs> don't, don't let yourself get intimidated. Maybe he's just trying to impress you. Uh, that's not... Insulted Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least I enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an elbow and smiles at me. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh, this girl's trouble, dude. So what made you consider the Lit Club? The, um, the Sayuki, right? Whatever her name is. I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. There you go, Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any club yet. And Sayori seems really happy here, so... Oh, that's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As pres oh, she's president, dude? It's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the other major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Oh, look at this little posy with a flip skirt, dude. With a flip skirt. <laughs> to be honest, I can't stand all the politics around major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. Then why be in a club in the first place then? <laughs> much rather- oh she wants to be chill. I get it, I get it. <laughs> oh fuck! <sighs> Excuse me. 
And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that my, my dream, dude. Monica really is a great leader. Oh, look, they look like similar. Very nods in agreement. And I'm surprised that there aren't more people in this club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting all out the effort and to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But make school events, like the festival, that much more important. Oh dang. I'm confident that we could all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah, we'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees, dude. Too bad I'm not joining them. <laughs> Too bad I'm not joining, dude. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have really worked hard to find these three. They got their own fucking free company right here, dude. Their own clan. Maybe their own gang, huh? <laughs> Maybe that's why they're all delighted by the idea of having a nude club member joining. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I still don't really know if I could keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So, oh, here we go. What kind of? Okay, I don't. I, I don't read. Considering how little I've read in the past few years, I don't really have a good way to answer that. Manga, dude. Manga. I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. I'd sing ahead. Oh, she likes manga, dude. It looks like she wants to say something, but she just keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking about saying <laughs> Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Your traces is the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. Oh, she likes that roleplay shit, dude. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them are amazing to me. Telling a good story in such a uh, in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Here goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems to be uh, she seems so reversed and timid since the moment I walked in. But it's obvious by the way her eyes light up when she finds comfortable in the books, uh, comfortable world in the books, not people. But you know, a lot of things. I like a lot of things. Stories of deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination and to completely throw you in for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror like Oh, like that horror book, dude. I read a horror book once. I desperately grasp something I can relate to at a minimum level. At this rate, Yuri might as well have a conversation with a rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. Oh, I'm gentle. <laughs> I'm a gentle guy now, dude. Oh no, she, her, right? My bad, my bad. I'm reading it wrong. I guess you could say that. If a story makes me think, or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often... Uh, <laughs> I'm playing this super late. I just need something to, to play, dude. Sorry, I'm yawning. True horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Oh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... That series like darts over to me for a split second. Never mind. <laughs> That's right. You usually like to write and cute things, don't you, Natsuki? Uh-oh. What? Well, it gives you that idea. You left a piece of paper, of scrap paper behind the glass club meeting. Looked like you were working on a poem called Don't say it out loud and give it back. Fine, fine. Your cupcakes, your poems. Everything you do is just as cute as you are. Uh-oh. Puts her hands on the shoulders, dude. <laughs> you write your own poems? Well, I guess sometimes. Do you, why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them with some time? No. Natsuki averts her eyes. She wouldn't like them. Uh, not very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Showing that level of writing takes more than uh, just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. 
You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Uh oh, uh oh, <laughs> look at her face. I <laughs> got her face. <laughs> well, I guess it's the same for Yuri. <laughs> I wanted to read everyone's poems. Oh, obviously. The Ditsy one, dude. We all sat in silence. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. Atsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem for our own. The next time we meet, we all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Huh. Let's do it. Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it'll help us get along a little bit more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond. Oh, so I'm part of the club now, dude. Isn't that right? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. What's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth <laughs> with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I was going to join. So Yuri may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clips to look at, and um, lose my train of thought. <laughs> look at that! <laughs> She's like, "Why did you do? Why did you do this? Like that? Look at this! Look at all them, dude! Look at the worry eyebrows, dude! Oh God! But I'm sorry. I thought, <laughs> Jr. You all." Our defense is against these when you can't say no to a girl. All right, bye, guys. <laughs> That's me. All right, bye. That's all. The, just leave them in shame, dude. How am I supposed to have a clear headed decision when it's like this? And as Frank bums and the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. All right, all right, it's just, I've decided then I'll join the literature club. One by one, they all like, yeah, they're all fucking happy now, dude. They're all fucking happy now, dude. <laughs> Uh-oh, she likes me, dude. <laughs> she likes me, dude. You really did scare me there for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, <laughs> I would be super pissed. <laughs> and then it makes it official. Welcome to the Literature Club. Ah, thanks, Forst. <laughs> okay, everyone. Think with, I think with that, I can officially end today's meeting and on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem for the next meeting we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Sure, I was looking forward to seeing how you would express yourself. Oh, look at this bitch. <laughs> all right. Can I really impress the star class, Mo the class star Monica with the mediocre writing skills? Oh my god. Feel the anxiety. Oh, the anxiety. <laughs> Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat with Yuri and Natsuki. Clean up their food. Hey, since we're already here, do you want to walk home? Oh, yeah, dude. That's right. Sarah and I never walk home together anymore because she's always stayed for her, her, this club here. Sure, might as well. Oh, she's all happy, dude. She's all happy now, dude. Can I save it? Like right here? Oh, look at that. Look at that. So, uh, I 
want to go get a drink so I won't like be all tired and stuff. All right, all right, all right. Let's continue now then. With that, the two of us depart the club room to make our way home. Oh wait, the wind wand my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Oh shit, hold on. Alright, Sayori. Atsuki. Yuri. And of course Monica. One of these don't belong, dude. Where did Monica come from? <laughs> All Japanese name and Monica. <laughs> what? <laughs> Will it really be something? <laughs> really be happy spending day by day after or whatever with the girls. Look at that. With the girls, dude. Perhaps I'll have to change and go closer to one of these. Go oh, the chance, dude. I mean, all right. I just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. Okay, so that's why she fucking ran after me and said my name and shit like that. She wanted me to go to the freaking club. Okay, I get it. <clears throat> and I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. <laughs> 